Hello, and welcome to another session on using Well, that was strange. What was that? Actually, that was noise. And that's what we're going to cover in today's session on using Blender for video editing. Uh, so before we get into that, let's show you what I have in this scene right now. I've got two, two strips and only one of them is animated. It's the blue uh, box with text and it just goes across. What I'm going to show you is how to add uh, noise. We're going to make it jitter. We're going to make it bounce up and down as it goes across and we're going to have Blender do all that work for us. Uh, we won't have to manually add individual keyframes to make it look like that. Okay, so I'm going to stop this now, jump back to the start, and we're going to need lots of space for the graph editor. So before we do anything else, I am going to um, adjust the screen layout. So I'm going to right click on the border, join area, and give that all to the graph editor. And then I'm going to split this right here and adjust the view here so that this is now our preview. Okay, so the first thing we need to do before we can add noise to an attribute is we have to give it some keyframes or at least one keyframe. So the thing we want to animate is the Y offset going up and down. So I will just hover over this Y offset here, image offset, and press the I key. So now we have that's that showing up over here in the graph editor. Now I'm going to click on that now to make sure that's the only thing that's selected. And then the next step is to add this noise. And to do that, uh, we need to get into the side panel here, which we can either uh, just click on this plus sign or uh, the alternative would be to press the, the N key, right? To toggle that on and off. And then go down to modifiers, click add modifier and choose noise. And now I'm going to uh, just pull that out a bit so we can see all of these labels. Okay, so now that we have this uh, noise modifier added, it's time to adjust these settings so that it actually has an impact. And let's just go ahead and start by uh, adjusting strength, which is how much noise you're adding. I'm going to hold down on my left mouse button and then just drag across to increase the values until I can start seeing uh, the, the what looks like random noise here. So here I have it at about 38. And if I hit the play button now, you can see we've already got some some of that jitter effect happening. And the frame rate's a bit low, so let me just make sure I am choosing proxy 25. There we go. That's better. Okay, so there we are with a little bit of jitter. Doesn't look like that much, so we can increase it some more to 60 to 75. And you can see that's that's a pretty good amount just for like a basic little small but definitely noticeable effect. And of course, the higher you go, then the stronger the noise will be. Uh, what about these other things? The, I've only really played with this other one, scale, and that seems to be it, it adjusts the, the, the time of it. So it'll, this is, you can see, it's very, very fast uh, jittering. But if we increase this value, it'll slow down. So if I increase it to 10, for example, you can see it becomes uh, so still like a random values, but then not uh, not so quick. It just well slow down. So that's that's it for the basics. Uh, what if you only wanted to have this noise applied? For a portion of your your animation, because as you can see right now, it's going across everything. Well, that's what this restrict frame range is for. As soon as you open up this panel, well, maybe not yet. Maybe I have to click the refresh sequencer button. Okay, there we go. So once the sequencer is refreshed, you can see as soon as um, you have this panel opened, then 
the restriction is already in effect. And you, the easiest thing to do is that I like to do is going by the start and end frame range. Uh, so let's say, for example, that um, I only wanted it to happen within the first half of the video. Well, my video is uh, the the scene right now is 250 frames, so I can start at zero and I can end at 125. And then if I hit the refresh on that, we can see that we have the noise happening. We can we can see it over here as well, and then it just stops after that. And that's one thing to talk about. One other thing I'd like to mention before we go is that you can stack them. So let's say you want it to start with a small amount of noise, and then you want it to increase it uh, later on. You can do that by adding another noise modifier. So let's see that. So first, I'm just going to take that off because now I want the jitter to go across everything. And then hit the refresh there so it's still working. Uh, now I will go again to add modifier and choose noise a second time. So now uh, you can see that I have two noise modifiers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this restrict frame range. So this time it's going to start for the first half of the video. It'll have that basic noise. But then from the halfway point on until the end, it'll have this new uh, noise. And I will increase the strength to, what did I have it before? So the first noise had a strength of 76. So now I'm going to pump that up to, let's say, 200. OK, and I will hit refresh. And then it goes really crazy, right? So that's uh, that's it. Not that hard. Uh, just uh, in fact, I didn't even know this existed until a few days ago, and I'm really excited to share this with you. Uh, so that's it. How you can add the noise modifier within the graph editor to be able to add some kind of jitter effect to your animations. So. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did like it, please do give it a like and subscribe so you can see more content. And that's it for now. And we'll see you next time. Bye now.